tears that may have come and followed. As a young girl, you always wonder, well, maybe not you guys in the audience here, but as a young girl, you wonder what you might look like or act like when you become older as a mother. Will you be funny? Will you be strict? Will you be the cool mom that your mom might be? Will you do all the fun things? Maybe. Do you ever think that you might be able to have children or not be able to have children? Those are some things that you might, as you grow into a woman, start to fear. So, some of the things that, as you grow into adulthood, in order to become a mother, you first have to bear a child. But do you really have to bear your own child? Do you have to have your own child come from your own body to be a mother? Absolutely not. A child does not have to come from your body to be a mother. There are so many children in this world that have mothers that I see even in this room that have mothers that do not come from them. And we are so lucky. We are so lucky. We have adoptive mothers. We have foster moms. We have aunts that are mothers. We have sisters that are mothers. To be a mother, you have to give up all selfishness. You have to give up everything to be a mother. So regardless of how one becomes a mother, the moment that child is yours, what a wonderful gift it is. Do you remember that moment that child was in your arms? That first moment, regardless if you're a mom or a dad, that moment you got to feel that child. How wonderful. Imagine what God felt when Mary had Jesus and the look on his face and how Mary felt when that moment happened. Imagine the warmth, all that faith. Society looks at mothers, like I said, as having for a child, but that isn't the case. I did look it up. The, dic the dictionary definition is the female parent, and that is true. But today, in society, there are many families that don't have a mom. The dad is a mom, too. It's just how things are. So, I also looked up how the verb of a mother is to bring up a child with care and affection, and how true that is. And what better thing arena we have here in church than a child crying? Chrissy, you might as well leave him in here. <laughs> but we have so many women in here and men with care and affection. I told you, this is, wow. Well, and Kathy couldn't have picked a better video to show this morning. So many things led up to this morning that kept pointing out to lead into everything I wanted to say and then couldn't say. Um, Linda came up to me this morning and wanted to pray with me. And my last note card says, just smile and don't cry. The video just brought tears. I asked Kathy to bring me some, some tissues, but my goodness, there are so many types of mothers out there that sacrifice everything to be a mom. You give up absolutely everything that you have. I get to look out here in a whole new light. Typically, I get to go upstairs every week with your kids. Every week, I get to spend at least 20 minutes 
20 minutes I get to spend with your children, laughing with them, giving them a snack, and then sending them on their way back home with you. I love that time with them. I get to tell them a story. Sometimes I have to remind them that it's time to be quiet, to listen to the lesson, but that's my time with them. I get to be their church mom, and I enjoy every bit of it. Sometimes on Thursday evenings, I get to spend some time with them, and I enjoy that time too. I'm sure a lot of you just like the slime that we made and we get to send home with you too. But look around for just a moment. Look at all the women that are in this room. Because Kathy was unbelievably right in the amazing women that we have in this church. I am an amazing company here. And there is no better company than I would rather have my children, my three girls. And the shoes. My three girls are being raised in good company with amazing women. So, motherhood isn't easy. It's not something to be taken lightly. Nobody came into this easily. It was said from the beginning. God punished Eve. We were punished from the beginning, unfortunately, but how wonderful it became. Some of us try very hard to become mothers. Some of us it become is an easy thing. As moms, some of us are planners. We all have our agenda books. Some of us like to fly by the seat of our pants. Some of us like to have strict rules at home. Some of us don't. However you mother, it's fine. We all have our own agendas. As long as your children are happy, healthy, well-fed, does your child know the Lord? Are you bringing them up in church? If you're here, I think we're doing a pretty good job. The children laughing. The Bible choir was amazing this morning. How wonderful to listen to them, right? So, I am a planner. The Education Board had a rude awakening this past year. As me being a planner, and you don't, if you don't know me that well, a little background. I went into a board meeting, many board meetings, saying, I've got this. Being four or five months pregnant, I said, this is the third one. I have this handled. I know exactly how this is going to go for pregnancy, no problem. I can handle this. God had other plans. I was seven months pregnant, went in for a routine doctor's appointment. I was rushed to the hospital. They told me that I wasn't leaving, and then I had to go by ambulance to McGee, where they told me that I wasn't going to be leaving for two weeks. And I told them I didn't have time for this. God had other plans. I ended up delivering that baby within 48 hours. We spent 62 days. Well, she did. And then God had other plans for our family. I know better than to have plans. God has plans for you. As a mother, I should have known better. As a Christian woman, I should have known better than to make plans for our God. So as a mom, talk to God. Don't just bring it up to him. Actually have a conversation. Bring up your plans. And tell him your needs. Ask him, what can I do to help you today? What more can I do for you? He's there for you. 
He's our friend. So, he's here for us, as mothers, as fathers, in any way, in any time. So, in closing, I would just like to say Happy Mother's Day to all of us, every woman in this room, 